Hi, my name is Rohit and I study in DTU. In this video tutorial, I'll be walking you through uh, an Apache project, Apache Giraffe, so which is a tool for uh, high performance graph iterations. And uh, we will see how, how this tool could be useful for a lot of uh, real world applications and how, how um, efficient it could be over a other Apache tools or other um, data mining tools uh, for specific uh, purpose. For that for now is um, the data which could be represented uh, in, in, in graphical manner. So let's begin. Uh, the agenda for our tutorial would be to motivate the choice of giraffe and to discuss some basic concepts and architecture and how it has been built. We'll also have a look at some of the example applications which use Giraffe or which could use Giraffe for high performance and efficiency. And then we will end our, end our demo with a small demonstration of how, how uh, Giraffe could be used to solve a small problem. So, yes. So graphs are everywhere. As we see in, in real world, uh, most of the interactions that we have with other entities in the distributed systems, they are part of graphs. The computer networks consisting of routers, links, different nodes and hubs, they, they could be put in the form of graph and, uh, and graph, putting them in form of graph could make our computations easier and making decisions uh, quicker. So it's, it's common in that uh, domain to represent your information in form of graphs. Similarly for social networks, like your Facebook profiles, your Twitter accounts, or LinkedIn accounts. So they could also be put in the form of graphs where you are present on the nodes and then you have connections with other people. And uh, this could be, uh, these connections could mean anything, could be different in different contexts, like if you share something with someone, then you essentially form a connection with those people for sharing some data. Or if you have some shared interests, you have common friends, you have common interests, then you are essentially connected to other people in this graph. So the entire social media paradigm could be put in the form of a graph and where different nodes interact with each other and keep on forming new connections and breaking old ones like that. And similarly, uh, the database systems or the file systems in our, uh, our computers, they could also be put as a graph where different nodes could uh, different nodes interact with other nodes based on their own roles and what kind of rights do they have over files and what kind of uh, how, how information flows between one party to other party. So this could also be put as graphs. So graphs are everywhere. And graphs could be huge. The Google's page, paging index, it contains 50 billion pages. Facebook has 1.55 billion users. And Twitter has 300 million monthly active users. So this clearly gives us a sense that uh, graphs in today's world could be really, really huge because of uh, internet services used by, um, used in every part of the world. So there are a lot more people who are connected to internet and hence all these services, uh, they, they have a wide, um, they have a wide domain and they have a lot of nodes in their graphs, a lot of connections all the time building up and tearing down. So graphs could be huge. And hence, hence, hence we could understand that we need some tool or the algorithms which, which provide us better scalability, performance, efficiency, and accuracy. Also, also at the same time being very fast to give um, some good service to our users. So we need such tools and algorithms which enable us to leverage this value and then deliver some good quality services. 
and hence giraffe is our answer to this problem of iterating graphs and processing them. Um, giraffe, it is built on top of Hadoop, Hadoop file system, which is an open source um, software library by Apache. It's, uh, it is primarily used for distributed processing of large data sets across clusters of computers. And uh, it has been designed to scale up, uh, up up to thousands of machines in no time. And uh, Giraffe is built on top of Hadoop file system. And in later slides, we will see how it fits into the bigger picture. So it's an iterative graph processing system built for high scalability. Uh, there, instead of working with the key value pairs, we will see that here we will deal with the vertices of the graph, which pass messages to each other and uh, they transfer information and it's an iterative process. Uh, we will see how the workers will continue passing messages till there are no more changes happening in the system, till there are no more messages to be delivered. And it's, it's based on synchronous parallel programming model and uh, it has efficient message passing between vertices. So this message passing paradigm also helps it to do the multi-threading quite uh, efficiently because there are no there are no locks between different resources. So the concept and API of uh, Giraffe is based out of uh, three major phases in the whole in the whole flow. First is the loading phase then the computation phase and then offloading phase. In, uh, in, in loading phase, we see that the vertices are loaded into giraffe uh, through an input format. In our demonstration, we will have a look at some of the input formats. Sorry, but uh, this, this could be JSON, it could be adjacency lists or it could be text input files. Here we just provide uh, the information about our nodes, about our edges, and then the cost of edges to, to the Hadoop uh, giraffe uh, job. So this is the loading phase where we load the data from our file system to our, our worker. And then there is a computation phase. This is the iterative part of uh, the flow where the vertices they compute on the basis of uh, what messages they receive and what messages they have to uh, forward. So this is an iterative process where they keep on receiving messages which other vertices send them and then they process it and then they send those messages, uh, they forward those messages to other vertices. And this process keeps on going till there are, till all vertices have halted and there are no more messages in the system. So the, all the computations now occur in the vertices. They take information, they process it, and they pass those messages to other vertices. And then the vertices are offloaded to, to the file system through an output format. So at this point of time, so we are done with our computation, and then we output the required result into the file system again. This is the typical workflow for a giraffe job. Um, Giraffe, as we uh, discussed earlier, is based out of uh, Hadoop file system. And uh, here we can see that there's a master worker which um, coordinates between different workers. And different workers, they have compute threads, they have a pool of vertices, then and they have queues for message inbox and message output, outbox. So in the previous diagram, as we saw that all of these workers independently are processing uh, vertices and sending messages across uh, different workers. And this is helps to um, multi to, to multi-thread the whole system because uh, while message passing, you don't have to take access of any resource. There are no locks involved. The different workers, they have queues for processing messages and uh, they can work in synchronous manner. Some of the example applications of using um, Giraffe could be um, the Google Page Rank. Actually, the whole project has been inspired from from a Google's 
uh, pretzel project. So it was a page ranking project, but now it's been maintained by Apache. So Google Google uses page rank. Um, Google uses Giraffe or the similar algorithm for page ranking because page ranking essentially is a is a huge graph where different links they could be thought of as nodes and every web page refers to other links and then it could be thought of as connecting to other nodes through edges and the cost of these edges they are determined by the popularity relevance of a particular page and its page rank essentially so it's a, it's a big graph where in the real time you are computing the 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 page ranks and the relevancy of the content and similarly the the recommendation engines in e-commerce especially for example on amazon you would see that it keeps popping up with your uh, with the products that you would like to purchase next or with something you would like to um, track uh, about discounts or something like that so the recommendation engines also work like that they create your profiles on the basis of your browsing history and your interests and then they try to connect you with other people who have similar interests and the kind of products they have been buying so it, it's also a lot of iterative graph processing and trying to build connections between different profiles trying to establish more edges um, and 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 connecting more similar like-minded people so and uh, another important application is in routing protocols in in communication uh, protocols for routers the packets need to find the shortest path over different links and there also um, it, it could be giraffe could be used to find out the best possible track for for a packet which could take the least time or the link score is kept uh, at minimum so the applications of this processing engine is is wide and uh, in our current scope we are going to discuss a small example of how giraffe could be used so this is a small graph as you can see on the screen it has five nodes and there are some edges it's a directed graph and the edges have costs and here in our the, the problem we are trying to solve is uh, for the source vertex one we are trying to compute the minimum cost to reach to the destination vertices so now we will see a quick demonstration of the example from our slides uh, to find the shortest path in a graph so the input is given in the form of this file where we specify the nodes every line corresponds to one node and then we specify the edges that this node connects to and the costs of the edges so node 1 in the line 1 we can see that node 1 is connected to edge to two edges one goes to 3 and other goes to 4 and then the costs are 6 and 3 respectively so the first part of the tuple is the destination node and the second part is the cost of that uh, edge right so we specify our data like this and then we use a, a program to find the shortest path from source 1 to all other destinations and uh, this is the giraffe uh, job that we are going to run and let's see uh, it, it will output some of uh, the important statistics um, important information logs about how tasks are split in different workers and we can see that on uh, giraffe actually is based out of uh, uh, MapReduce uh, paradigm so we will see there are reducers and mappers they do the same thing but uh, the data structures used in giraffe are more f far more efficient than the typical map reduce ones so that makes the specific job of iterating through the graphs much faster and scalable right so we we in specified an output directory and uh, our output will be written into that file
let us see how the output file looks like yes so in our output file we see now that we have five entries they are five nodes and then the second column is the distance of uh, reaching from source 1 to all of these destinations and this data is same as what we saw in the slide so in this tutorial we saw the motivation behind giraffe and some concepts architecture example applications and then we finished with a small demonstration thank you for following me in this tutorial